one theme in the collection is that of scale. Scale is manipulated and there are pieces that interact with each other to great psychological effect. The large scale of the Otaniel necklace, as one approaches it, they realize that the pearls are made entirely of solid Murano glass, handmade and hand constructed in Italy. The way that you interact with the piece gives you the sense that you've become quite small. Opposite of that is the work by Guy Lemon. In Guy Lemon's work, there are 1,000 figures that are attached perpendicular to the floor to a large rotating disc. You have the sense that you are a giant examining a crowd of people in the city. Another work that deals with scale is the work Renaud by Xavier Veillon. He takes portraits, essentially, of his friends and colleagues and associates and renders them through a simple computer program that the final result is one of a faceted and manipulated figurative sculpture that is appropriate to the digital age that we're in. He's carrying forward the idea of statuary but putting it into a uh, contemporary context. And this, you approach it you know, the way that you would approach a fellow human being, but then there's something quite unsettling by it, by the way that the forms are simplified and faceted through this computer program. Another theme that is carried throughout the collection is that of natural materials, namely stone. Um, one of the extraordinary pairs of tables in the collection are two works by Otto Schall, which have a resin top and a steel base, but the tops are inlaid with hematite. There's an overall kind of beauty and mystery to the tops that uh, is quite sensual and uh, carries forward ideas of using natural materials in design. That's parallel with two tables by Angelo Mangerotti, which are rendered in uh, solid marble, uh, both in solid white and solid black marble. One of the seminal artworks in the collection is a stone by Tatiana Trouvé. Tatiana Trouvé's work is a piece that at first glance looks utterly familiar, that has attached to it what first appear to be barnacles or plant forms that have grown upon it. On closer inspection, the barnacles appear as padlocks and as counterweights, and the piece becomes something extraordinary, something unsettling, something that becomes utterly unfamiliar, and that is really the poetry of the piece.